Hi, my name is Nadim. I'm a Charles Street video member. We're here at Charles Street and I'm going to show you how to build the RED camera with the accessories that Charles Street offers. We're not going to be going through the functionality of the actual camera, the menu and so forth. We're just going to go with actually physically building all the different um, elements, building the camera with all the different elements and accessories that are offered by Charles Street. So this is the tripod bag that you'll be getting from Charles Street. Um, you want to pull out your tripod. These are the legs over here. And these are the spreaders. These go at the bottom of the tripod and hold the legs together. So you want to lay these out flat and make sure that you get the pegs into the little joints, I guess, at the bottom of the um, at the bottom of the, of the spreaders. It's pretty self-explanatory, actually, when you see it. One um, one one tight spike, I guess, if you want to call it that, on each side, and it'll kind of hold itself together snug. And you have this little rubber holder there that'll they just snap over and it'll hold your tripod legs to the spreaders. And there we go. And that's that. Um, so like mentioned, I usually like to build a red camera with the camera attached to the tripod. It just makes things a lot easier because it allows me to um, access things a lot easier on the lower end of the camera and it also allows you to you know pan the camera to the left or to the right if you need to access a different side of the camera so I usually suggest doing it that way you'll find it will make your life a lot easier than doing it on a table and it's a lot safer because less odds of you tipping the camera or making any kind of you know mistake like that so um, we already mounted the tripod to the um, to the spreaders so the second step to to the tripod is getting the base plate Sorry, getting the head onto the tripod, because the tripod is just the legs, and this is the head that goes on the tripod. So it's pretty simple. You'll see at the bottom you have a screw here. You want to screw this knob. And once it's loose, you want to put this bowl into, sorry, put this into the bowl. And at the bottom, remount your screw and tighten it up. Before you fully tighten this, you'll notice here that there's a little level meter, a little level gauge. And what you want to do is just make sure that the little bubble is in the center circle. And you know that your tripod head is level to the horizon. And tighten it up at that point. Secondly, you'll also find on top of this is a base plate. And this is what attaches to the bottom of the camera. That way you can slide, it's a quick, quick release plate, that way you can slide your camera in and on and off the tripod real easily. Before we get to that, you have your tripod handle, pretty straightforward. You want to screw this into the other end of it. And I'll rotate the tripod through here. Actually, it's facing the right way now. At the back of the tripod, you'll notice this little hole, I guess, here. Your handle goes into that. Just pop it right in there. And use this knob here, the lever, to tighten. Once again, very self-explanatory. And that's it and your tripod is basically ready to go. The next step we're going to do now is get this um, base plate onto the red camera. So what you want to do is at the bottom here, you'll notice a little white knob. And what you want to do is pull this knob, which releases your base plate, and slide your base plate out. Very simple. We're going to start with red camera box A, the silver box. Like I said, this holds your red camera and your two um, hard drives. And this here is your red camera body. And I will just show you one of them, but in here there's two of these. And these here are your hard drives. This is what they look like. As well as CF cards as well, which are the media, two media options basically for recording on the red. So this here is your hard drive, records all your data, everything you're shooting. And this is another option for recording data, which is a CF card. And You'll find that each blue box has both a hard drive, has a hard drive and a CF card. So you'll have two hard drives, two CF cards. But we'll get to those a little later. So the next step to attaching the bait, to attaching the camera to the tripod is to put the base plate onto the bottom of the camera. Um, you're going to be attaching it to the cheese plate here. Um, what you want to do is you'll notice that the base plate has two screws to it. You want to get both screws in there. Why? Because if you attach only one screw, um, what can happen is that the camera can somewhat rotate on itself. However, if you have both screws in, it's not going anywhere. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You have a bunch of screws here. You want to find two matching holes and just get, get them in there and tighten it up. 
you'll notice that some people will put it a little further forward or a little further backwards. That's to compensate for different, um, different setups you may have. In one scenario, you might have the camera a little more front heavy, so you want it sitting a little further back in the tripod or vice versa. Um, in this case, um, we're just going to be building the camera normally, so we'll just, for the purpose of the tutorial, we'll just put it dead center in the middle. So I'm going to find two screws here, two holes that I can fit the screws in. This can get a bit tricky, so just be patient with it. Okay. And a little tip to getting this done a lot easier is to either use a, um, a screwdriver, which I usually do, but in this case, it's a common thing. People just use a penny, a coin, a quarter, or whatever. And uh, use that as your little screwdriver to tighten it up. Also, usually I actually do have an assistance with me doing this. It makes it a lot easier. So have someone else holding the camera for you while you do the screwing or vice versa. Key things here, you don't want to over tighten. You just want them nice and snug and then just add a little bit more pressure. There's no need, you have two screws holding it, so there's no need to over tighten it. Okay, so there's snug, a little more pressure, and a little more pressure, simple. And your base plate is now at the bottom of the red camera. So now this allows you to slip the camera on and off the tripod as fast as you need to. So what you wanna do is the camera, this base plate goes on to starting from the back of the tripod. You'll notice the back because that's where your handle is, and that's the front. So you wanna grab it here, line the base plate up. Can be tricky sometimes, so be patient and slip it right in. You'll hear that click you just heard. That means the base plate's all the way in. Make sure your camera's nice and even, and your base plate, should I say, not the camera, but your base plate's nice and even on the tripod head, so it's not sticking out too far like that. And it's not too sticking out too far like that. You want it nice and centered there. And on the, I don't remember this tripod fully, so give me a second. Ah, there we go. And at the bottom here, the front of the tripod, you'll notice this little lever, I guess, if you want to call it that, that basically tightens the base plate onto the tripod head. So if you want to do the opposite, to take the camera off, you just release that knob, it loosens the base plate, and slide it off. But we want it on, so we're going to leave it there, and then tighten it up, and now this is nice and secure. Of course, little precautions to make sure that your tripod is on a level surface. You don't want it tipping or falling over. So um, those are just basic precautions you want to take when doing that.